Uh, hi, welcome to the last and perhaps the most important of all the fundamentals lectures. It is because you rarely, 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 rarely will do anything by yourself, no matter how wonderful, marvelous, and beautiful and smart you are. So you're going to be working in teams. And in order to be a good team player, the first thing is you've got to be really, really good at being an individual person, knowing your, your, your technology really deep, your math, your science, your how to build stuff. It's all got to be uh, right on top of your game. And then you need to be able to work that with your teammates. You've got to be able to uh, help them out when they like, think F equals MA squared. And you've got to do it in a way that afterwards they'll feel good about themselves, but know that you found out that they thought F equals MA squared, so they need to work on their game too. Okay? And uh, this is where ethics and professionalism comes in. The ethics being, it's not right to let things go by that could cause harm later, or it's not right to do things that might cause harm because you're you know, just not paying attention or just, eh. Your professionalism is how you're going to interact with other people, how you're going to conduct yourself in your being honest, forthright, and working hard to get it right and not just let some schlock s slip on by. Okay? So this is really, really critical stuff in order that all the detailed technical stuff you've learned can actually be useful. So the topics we want to go through, here's some of them, we're going to do it in a role-playing type mode. I got my twin sister here with me today and she and I are going to go back and forth between who's the boss and who's the geek and uh, just, just kind of Make, we're going to make fun of ourselves a little bit, because that's often a good way to get people to lighten up and think about things a little bit better. And you're going to see that ethics is not just about what you should do in a situation. Ethics, professionalism, is about looking ahead, just as like good control systems, derivative control, to try to prevent owies from happening. Okay, so this is a, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure or, you know, 62 and a half grams is worth a kilogram of cure. So uh, consider it in the context of these question and answer scenarios. And in your own real life, sometimes you think, oh, I wonder what I'm going to do for this. You can do this kind of role playing with yourself when you're going for a nice long run or a nice long swim. Don't do it while biking because you make <laughs> crash and that's a bad thing. Um, or with a buddy of yours. Works out very well. So here's uh, some examples of what we'll be thinking about. Look back on some of the big disasters from uh, the Challenger and the O-ring issue and the engineers tried to make the managers aware that the O-ring uh, would, would be brittle when it was cold and the managers were like, we had lunch, to the Hyatt Regency walkway collapse where it was designed correctly it was built incorrectly because they didn't have long enough uh, tie rods, or excuse me, it's just threaded rods, and engineers didn't, didn't really analyze the stress of what was happening. In this case, this one nut on this threaded rod ended up carrying twice the load it should have if it compared to when the way it was built. And engineers signed off on it, didn't get proper peer review perhaps, who knows, uh, but it was done different the way it was originally designed and approved and many people died. Two examples of soda machines tipping over on people when they start rocking them to try to get a free drink out. Whose fault is that? Two dumpsters that are designed so they can be easily dumped by a truck, but then kids start playing on them and again they start rocking them and then it falls over and squashes them. Who's at fault there? Is maybe no one at fault? Hindsight is always 20-20. We always walk around with binoculars on our, on our backsides. These are the things that blame is not the issue. The issue is, is thinking things through as much as possible and playing through scenarios. What would be the worst thing that might happen and trying to fix it before it does? So think about that in the context. When we start going through these scenarios, this is slide one of a whole bunch of them where we're going to play role-playing. And 
like I said, uh, my, my, my twin and I are going to just do one of these scenarios per page, just to kind of get you the feel for it. And later on, my little head will pop up, and I'll talk about some of the, some of the things to think about when you're trying to decide who was right and who was wrong in this scenario. And we'll let you guys decide and play out the other scenarios by yourself. Could be a good party game, too. <laughs>